going on everybody? Sean Pierce Johnson here for this week's edition of Stomp Box Saturday and on the stomping block today is the Hermita Audio New Valve Distortion Pedal. Now why is it the new valve? Well instead of using you know the typical kind of transistor set that distortion pedals typically use, it uses a very special component called the Nuvister. What is a Nuvister? Well the Nuvister is actually a tiny, like, thimble-sized tube. Yeah, a tube inside this tiny little pedal. Believe it or not, these were made back when the solid-state craze was just starting to kick in and companies like RCA and uh, GE were starting to face some pretty stiff competition. So they decided to shrink down a vacuum tube and instead of using big chunks of glass, they are made out of a ceramic material and aluminum, I believe. And the result is a tiny tube that can be used in pretty much anything. They were used in tape machines, they were used in TVs, they were used in hi-fi radios. Well, Alfonso Hermita decided to take them and use them in distortion pedals, and the new valve is the example of that. And it's a pretty cool sounding pedal to say the least, definitely in the British category of things, if you couldn't judge by the artwork already. It's got the four controls that most of his pedals have, volume, gain, tone, and voice. And the voice function, that's really unique to the Hermita pedals. It basically allows you to tailor the pedal for the guitar and amp combination that you're using. You can dial also in and out various amounts of low frequencies, and it'll also limit the gain somewhat. So let's check out how many sounds we can get out of this pedal. When you have lower drive settings on this pedal, it definitely gets you into that JTM, blues breaker, AC30, crunchy, small British combo kind of vibe. Sounds really nice. Well, we're gonna dial up a sound with that and we're also going to play around with the tone and voice knobs. They really do work well together as a team. One affects the outcome of the other. So we're gonna start with the volume, tone, and voice knobs all straight up at 12 o'clock on the dial and with the gain dialed back to nine o'clock. And this is the clean sound from my rocker verb. <laughs> Nice, sweet, low gain drive. Now let's uh, mess around with the voice knob. Turning it up definitely shaves off some of those lower frequencies, starts to accentuate the higher mids and the high frequencies. Then let's dial it back and really find that sweet spot. I like that. Nothing's too bright and it's not too bassy. So let's check out the tone knob. turned up all the way and the cool thing about this pedal that I've noticed that you don't get with a lot of other distortion pedals is that even when you turn the controls all the way up and those are typically extreme settings on other pedals these it's more like turning it up all the way it's still very usable very clean very organic you're not gonna feel like it's over processed in fact I kind of like this already <laughs> said before with the tone knob turned all the way up it's still very usable and with the gain knob turned all the way up or at least in the higher range of its throw uh, it's still very usable very clean it doesn't get too noisy and the gain doesn't get all farty on you but you can make it sound farty 
if you want to. So we're gonna do that, turning up the gain up to about mm, three, four o'clock on the dial, and the voice and the tone knob are just about in that one o'clock range. Uh, I find that this works really well for some nice singing lead tones. It also does a good job with some rhythm stuff, but it's also easy to manipulate that sound with your guitar's volume knob. So we're gonna jam out for a little bit and I'm gonna turn my guitar's volume and tone knobs and we're gonna see how many different sounds we can get out of this one setting. <laughs> There's your look at the new valve by Hermita Audio. You know, it's funny, most of Hermita's pedals are typically looked at as the fusion player's distortion pedal. You know, Robin Ford, of course, is probably the most famous Zen Drive player in, on the earth today. But the new valve definitely gets you into a different spectrum of tones, definitely gets you into the rock territory. But if you like the fusion tones, you can definitely coax them out of this pedal. And it's very versatile. And also, very unique in its construction. I'm very happy I got a chance to check it out. Thanks to my buddy Brian Noon Neighbor for lending this one to me, and uh, I think I might have to add this to my collection pretty soon. So, hope you guys enjoyed it, and stay tuned for next week's Stomp Box Saturday. And until then, happy stomping. Cheers.